Hey guys, I'm Nate. Welcome back to the channel. All right, so today we're talking about a potentially unexpected addition to the last call models. So this is not a special edition from Dodge at least, but there's a rumor that something could be making a comeback for this last year. I loved this car. I actually thought this was one of the, the greatest SRT models that they ever had. And it was a shame to see this die a few years ago whenever they finally killed it. The Charger, very similar variant to the car, so I could see maybe how that was, like those were cannibalizing the sales. Charger was obviously much more successful, so off went this one. That's right, the Chrysler 300 SRT. I really like the car. So if you've seen one of my earlier videos, I got a chance to drive a Chrysler 300S. I mean, look, not the V8 even, that was the V6. I had to drive that when we went and took a vacation. I really like the car, it's very comfortable. Right, well, we're doing the on-ramp. Haven't seen a last call model yet that's gonna have the Hellcat engine, so you don't get this yet. This wide body, this is a custom wide body charger right here. This is definitely not your average charger wide body. Maybe that's a Liberty Walk kit? I'm not sure. It's a nice kit. Not sure if it's a Hellcat, can't really tell, but it's nice blacked out limo tints. Chrysler 300 SRT. I thought it was great. I mean, you get the 6.4 liter, 480 horsepower engine. You've got the 300, which is a really nice place to be. It's a very, very luxurious car, I feel like, inside. Yeah, it was just, you know, pretty cool. And if you haven't seen, I'm sure you all have seen Cal SRT's video where he takes a red eye engine and stuffs it into a 300C. That's just like, a match made in heaven right there. So you got 300 SRT, which again, I think it's a beautiful car, very luxurious, and then you stick the Hellcat Red Eye engine in to give it the power. Yeah, that's a nice combo right there. So I don't think we're gonna see a Red Eye or even a Hellcat motor stuffed into the 300 SRT for the last last call year. So the rumor is we'll see a 300 SRT for that last call, Dodge will pump it out. Seems like it would make sense to bring the Durango back for that last call year as well. Why not bring back also the Chrysler 300? People will like it. It's a last call year. I'm pretty sure they'll be able to sell it, make a little bit more profit out of that chassis. The car's already been kind of paid for. Why not? So, sounds like Dodge is going out with a bang. I mean, not just Dodge, but sounds like Stellantis, the whole family is gonna go out with a bang next year. Milk, all the stuff that they've had, that they have, in production that they've already created. They already have the tooling to create these things. And that's it, just set them off into the sunset. So next year's gonna be interesting. I, I mean, we'll see like the whole SRT8 lineup come out for Big Bang before they move to electrification. So I don't think it's plausible that, as awesome as it would be, that they release a factory Hellcat. SRT is, they've, they've never done it before, right? So they'd basically have to I, mean, I guess they could use Cal SRT's engineering work to figure out what needs to be done, but then it has to be crash tested, EPA certified, all of this other stuff. I'm sure that adds a lot to the cost. It's not something that really makes sense to do for a one year run, but with the SRT 8, or the regular SRT 300, they already have everything worked out, so they can just dust it off pretty much. So what do you guys think? You guys looking forward to this 300 SRT? Let me know down in the comments. Otherwise, hope you guys enjoyed this one. Check out these next videos and I'll see you there. Thanks. Bye.